All right. Uh, uh, good morning to all Debian developers, contributors, and users over here. I'm Jamini, uh, and I'm here to talk about my Google Summer of Code project uh, with the title Improving Voice, Video, and Chat Communication uh, with Free Software. Um, Where is that? It's not there. Where is the browser? Okay. Slide it to the next uh, it's slide. gonna be fine. Gonna this one here, yeah. and I think you can use that for getting to the next slide. Okay. Yep. You can just click on the next one. Next one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry for the technical uh, issue. Um, okay. Uh, before I start my talk, I would like to introduce about myself uh, and. Um, I'm an undergraduate student studying B.Tech in Electronic and Communication Engineering in NIT Warangal. Uh, that's my blog. Uh, I have documented about my weekly report on uh, Google Summer of Code in that blog. Uh, and that is my Debian wiki page. Uh, you, can go, uh, you can know more about myself in that wiki page. Um, okay. Before I talk about my project, uh, I would like to tell you a story. Uh, uh, how I am here and uh, I was, uh, how I was introduced to the Debian community. Uh, so there is a place called Innovation Garage in our um, campus where you come up with the new ideas and work, up, uh, uh, work on it. And uh, uh, there, uh, there, there are many innovation, uh, innovative projects coming out. Uh, so some of the projects I have worked on were uh, sensor-based wireless valve controller for farmers and smart guidance for blind. Um, uh, that was the talk uh, uh, I, w uh, I was selected for for Asia. Uh, it is the open techno uh, Asia's premier open technological event, uh, and uh, I had a talk over there. Uh, and uh, in that event, uh, Debian was uh, uh, part of it, and I could uh, meet Daniel Pocock in the exhibition table, uh, and I could know more about my Debian. Uh, know ab uh, more about Debian. Actually, I'm new to Debian, so Daniel Pocock uh, introduced me more about the, uh, Debian, and I was. Uh, interested in, in it, and we discussed about the uh, GSOC projects under Debian. Um, and finally, I went back to the campus and prepared the project proposal. And that was my first application for uh, Google Summer of Code, and I was selected for it. Uh, and I was ha happy about it. Thanks for the Google and uh, Debian uh, for giving me a chance to contribute uh, to the open source uh, software. Um, okay, that's it, the story. Uh, now I'll uh, talk about my project. Um, it's basically related to uh, real-time communication. So before uh, I talk uh, what, uh, about what I did, I would like to tell you all uh, about the words I have learned newly. Maybe you would, have, uh, you would know about it, but I just want to uh, tell about the things I have learned within these uh, two months. It has started on May, uh, and now we are done with the midterm, and I have passed it. Uh, uh, so. Um, mm, First, uh, real-time communication. Um, it is a, a communication in which uh, users can uh, exchange uh, information instantly uh, without, uh, with minimum delay. Uh, okay, these are the examples of real-time uh, communication, uh, text messaging, video conferencing, uh, calling. I hope you people are in Cape Town 
so you will be conduct, uh, contacting with your family uh, through some other so, uh, through some uh, softwares. Uh, okay, how many of you are here uh, using free software to communicate <coughs> with your family from Cape Town? Ah. Okay, yeah, it's a good amount. Uh, still, uh, we are working on improving the uh, voice chat communication with free software. Uh, so, it's still in progress. I uh, hope you could be able to use for the next time in uh, Montreal with free software. Yeah. Uh, and this is the another one, web, so uh, web sockets. It's the heart of real time uh, communication between client and server. Uh, it's a protocol. Uh, and I hope you know about free software. I just want to introduce uh, about free software as well because we are using the free sof uh, f uh, software for our project. Um, it's nothing but um, you have the freedom uh, freedom to cha uh, edit, change anything you can do. That's uh, that's the free. It's, it's not like free means you uh, uh, you don't need to pay anything without money. It's that's that free as in beer. It's like free as uh, in speech. You have the freedom to do anything uh, with the software. And uh, the free uh, RTC means uh, it's it's the re uh, real time communication uh, uh, with the free open source software. Okay, now why do we need to use the uh, free software when there is a, uh, the other choice? Um, first reason is uh, resilience, then security, and then uh, privacy. Uh, this web RT is the open source software for real time communication introduced by Google. In 2013, Google I.O. extended. Uh, I think they are still working uh, on this project. Uh, and these are the protocols used for uh, real-time communication. Uh, first one is uh, SIP, uh, Session Initiation Protocol. It's used for signaling and controlling. And next one is X XMPP. Um, uh, that is extensible messaging and pre uh, presence protocol. It's used for message oriented middleway uh, based XM XML. And the next one is uh, peer to peer technology. In that one, you don't have the centralized administrator. So it's everything is connected without the centralized administrator. Okay, uh, so uh, this is a comparison with uh, SIP and XMPP. Uh, it's both, actually, it's both the same. Uh, so uh, SCP is uh, better uh, better for using for the voice, and uh, XMPP is better for using for the instant messaging. Uh, that's the only difference, but both are almost same. And uh, voice and uh, video over IP. This is the basic technology we are using in our project. Uh, that is using the software, sorry, using the internet, uh, real time communication. Okay, these are the um, currently available uh, real time uh, communication softwares. I hope mostly you will be using all these. Uh, how many of you are using right now? These are all. Yeah. And these are not free uh, with the free software. You don't have the freedom to uh, edit or something. Uh, that's, uh, uh, and you, uh, it is not the, uh, pro uh, it is the proprietary communication media. <coughs> okay, these are uh, with the free software. How many of you are using any of these? So these are the uh, uh, co uh, communication software which are um, used, uh, created with the free software. So yeah, you can, um, you have the freedom to edit or make changes, um, but still you have the problem with the lack of servers and uh, due to that uh, firewall uh, traversal can be cumbersome. Uh, so uh, some, some problems are there. So we are trying to, our pro main uh, goal of the project is to avoid, avoid using this proprietary communication and improving the available uh, free software. Okay, uh, I hope you all know about the uh, IoT, it's Internet of uh, Things. Uh, these both are the um, dominant uh, field right now. Uh, I think this m both field can bring the world into your, into your pocket. I just want to introduce both of them. And this is my, go uh, these are our main goals of our project. Uh, avoid using the proprietary communication and uh, improving the available free software. Okay, uh, now these are the uh, things we are uh, working on. Um, first ta uh, target is just extracting the sender receiver details from the uh, mail. So we have extracted that one using IMAP. Uh, and the next one is 
if there is a phone number in your mail, old mails, you want to just extract it and put it in the address book, you can just do, uh, you can just do it by a click. That's what we are working on. Uh, and these are the summary of what we have uh, progressed till now. Okay, challenges I have faced. I'm new to Debian, and uh, I I was I have to uh, use the Python for my project. So these are the challenges I have faced. Thank you. Any questions? So I see that there are uh, free software alternatives for communication, but naturally things like uh, Linfern, I'm guessing, with the SIP, you'd still need infrastructure elsewhere? Sorry? Would you need private infrastructure or like, is there public infrastructure for running things like Linfern and uh, Qtox and the rest of the things that were listed on the free software side? Um, uh, are there public servers for that? Yeah, they do, but they have some problems with the servers and all, lack of servers. So okay. So we are trying to improve that as well. Okay. Um, if I may answer, um, QTalks, for example, and the uh, Ring, which I am working on, do not require infrastructure because they are fully decentralized. So uh, if, if you are in the case where you have access to a router that supports UPnP, there is no reason why we would need infrastructure. So these technologies are really where I see the future is going right now. Because even having a free infrastructure does not mean that you have privacy. So we should develop technologies that do not require infrastructure if you can. We have a question from IRC. Uh, how hard would it be to integrate uh, RTC with the Freedom Box project? Once again, please. How hard would it be to integrate free RTC with the Freedom Box project? I don't know how hard it is. I think we have to finish it and see. Thank you. Hello. As far as I know, I, I just wanted to thank you for your talk. I wanted to reply to this guy. It's like, as I understand, Freedom Box is pure Debian. So it's, if you enable it in Debian, then it'll just get enabled with Freedom Box. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.